Uh, good evening. My name is Shah. Um, honestly, I'm actually not from Segotech. I'm actually a fellow enthusiast. I work very closely with Peter and his team um, to build PCs and stuff. And I think I've been using their products for quite a while. So I guess um, from a consumer's point of view, I think I'm the best person to talk about the product. So am I speaking loud enough? Can everyone hear me? I like to use the mic because I'm like yelling. <laughs> it's not very cool. All right. So. The whole idea of today's presentation is to really talk about uh, more like some interim updates on what we have, on what Segotech has to offer to all our leaders in Quantum today. So uh, we've been in the market, just a quick recap, we've been in the market for a good 13 years. And of course, in China, we're top three in, in terms of casing, in terms of power supply units as well. And we also do have our very own power supply unit or PSU factory in, in China. So. Um, Looking at our whole export market, now the orange one, you see, I had to ask one of those guys what the orange one means. I sort of predicted that's the, the ones that they're planning to export, which is probably true. And the white one sort of indicates where Segotech is actually exporting their goods to right now. Of course, inclusive of Malaysia, uh, there are also very big plans to export to America. I think that's a very good and competitive market, now, given its competitive pricing for Segotech cases and also power supply units. Now, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to cut me in any time. Uh, if I can't answer it, Peter and Mr. Chu will probably be more than happy to do so. Right, now here's, the, here's a bit of a business part. Uh, in 2016, we actually grew, Segotel actually grew its business uh, more than 35%, uh, inclusive of Malaysia as a group uh, around the world. So in, in terms of export and sales and stuff, so we grew 35%, and that's uh, something that I would say Segotel is really looking forward to or improve or keep consistent throughout the years. So in 2017, uh, given the whole challenging market, you see you have tons of brands out there today, computer or the whole enthusiast market, the PC enthusiast building market uh, is really, really growing every day. If you look on Facebook, you look online, you look on forums, everyone is really starting to jump on this whole DIY PC bandwagon. And so we thought this is a really good opportunity um, in 2017 to actually uh, bump up uh, our game, you know, show, I would say, introduce more products, inclusive, inclusive of power supply units, casings, or, or peripherals and stuff, which is what you guys actually saw outside. So um, looking at our casing lineups, now this is just an overview of casing lineups. Um, we also have some really cool casings, the EDI series. Uh, that's pretty cool. I guess it's, it's more like a port casing. Uh, it's more like a quiet case kind of uh, casing, actually. But I think personal favorite, I guess I actually like the K8 and the K6. These are like the clear series, you know, it's something that I guess tempered glass, in my opinion, is really, really heavy. But if you're not the kind of guy who moves things around it, I guess uh, it's pretty okay to have one. I am personally using a tempered glass case as well. I'm using the T3, is that right, Peter? The T3. Yeah. yeah, the T3. That's the one I'm using actually for my PC. Uh, of course, we have the, um, speaking about form factors, now at this point of time, Segotep actually caters from MATX up to EATX, so no worries in terms of water cooling, if you're trying to build a water cooling PC, no worries at all. It's pretty modular in my opinion. Uh, most of the um, mid-tier or the high-end Segotech cases do actually come with a fan controller, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it does actually come with two, three RGB fans. Am I right, Peter? Great, just to make sure. So um, these are some additional cases. Now, as you can see, the designs are very catered towards, it's very current. It's not something that I would say, it's, we don't, I don't think it's something more classic, it's more current. So that's one thing I really like about single tech, you know, it sort of adapts to the current trends. You know, what people want today, something futuristic. I, I guess RGB is life, I'm pretty sure all your customers today are looking for RGB, correct? Even, even lights, even, even everything's RGB. Probably at some point in time, even the monitors will have to be RGB as well, you know. So I, I guess everyone's looking for RGB today. So this is the Polar MATX case. And of course, uh, jumping quickly into power supply units. Uh, now this is something, on, in all honesty, power supply isn't something that I'm very well versed. I guess it's something very, very technical when it comes to power supply units. But I'm here to really quickly talk about power supply units. Now this is actually our titanium series, the uh, GP1600T and also the 600T. And we also do have uh, gold series as well. All of the PSUs are 80 plus rated. Um, we have a whole load of, uh, I would say, from 600, watts up to 900 watts, fully modular power supply units, which are all rated at gold. And of course, we do have for the whole Bitcoin scene, I guess the whole Bitcoin scene is crazy because two months ago, at least a good two, three years ago, I remember a friend of mine 
actually had 200 ringgit worth of bitcoins. And today that, that dude is actually super rich. And he, he didn't even go to school. And it, I'm the guy who actually went to school and I didn't buy bitcoins and I'm poor. You know, so I guess for, for Bitcoin miners, Bitcoin miners today, they have the GP350G. So that's really catered towards, you know, those who use the really high hash rate GPUs yeah, as well. So 13, 135 to 1350 watts should be more than enough. And of course, we do have our Platinum series as well, which is a 700p and 600p. Now, the cool part about uh, this power supply is they actually come with fully modular paracord-ish cables, which, is, which, if I'm not mistaken, comes in only red, right? At this point of time, yeah. Comes only in red. And today, the new power supply is that we are actually looking to introduce is the Kunlun series. How is, is it Kunlun? Am I right? Yeah. Kunlun series, so it's a mountain in China. If anyone who actually watched Iron Fist, Marvel Iron Fist, you already know Kunlun. So Kunlun is a mountain in China, so I guess it's where the name comes from. It actually comes from 750 watts to 1050 watts. So uh, I do actually have a video to show uh, right after the end of slides. So if you guys have any questions after that, feel free to ask me. Mr. Peter or Mr. Chu, right? Um, so these are some static shots of the power supply. I think it's fully modular. Comes with paracord braided cables and stuff. It also comes with, uh, how many years warranty, Peter? Seven years. Seven good years. So if today you're 18 like me, by the time I'm 25, it's still, it's still gonna be uh, under warranty. So uh, for our dealers today, if you were to purchase 10 Windows, uh, 10 units of Windows 10 at home at 340 ringgit each, now Segotep is offering its one-time offer, or it's a pretty good deal, I guess. Uh, five units of Segotep Halo cases will actually uh, be bundled in as well as a promotion, uh, just to speed up the deal. Good stuff, Peter. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys a video of uh, the power supply. Uh, sorry guys, we have a bit of a technical issue. I'm trying to show you guys a video where it seems to only play on the tablet.
Alright guys, so, so that's a little short video now. I like the fact that you called it China Red just to make sure that you know, the red is like China Red. So now we have another red variant, it's called China Red. So anytime you go to a power supply unit, you gotta ask, so I need a braided cable that is China Red so it can resemble a condom PSU. Anyway guys, any questions so far? Anyone, any questions? No? Alright guys, if you guys have any other questions regarding the power supply unit, anything else related to Segotep, Feel free to contact uh, Peter, who's right behind there, and Mr. Chu as well. Mr. Chu? Mr. Chu? Mr. Chu is outside. Alright, so any, any information, feel free to contact uh, Peter or Mr. Chu at any point of time. Any other questions, uh, you can feel free to ask right now, or I'm just going to quickly wrap this one and let uh, the next guys take over. Yeah, that'll be this gentleman right here. Thank you. Thank you.